Well, I finally got round to making a Christmas album, with a little help from my friends. And we made a little film about the making of it. So, all aboard Paul Kelly's Christmas train. My idea was to do a Christmas record with a whole lot of singers guesting on it. Christmas has got such a variety of songs and music, sacred songs, secular, popular, obscure, old, new, serious, fun, that I thought I couldn't do justice to it without getting a whole lot of different voices involved. So I started to um, pick songs and then and match them with different singers. And that's really how the record started. Pretty lights on the tree I'm watching them shine You should be here with me How many pleasures are there? <laughs> as for as, as written. Please, 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 My favourite Christmas song, I think hands down, is Silent Night. Silent Night. Just such, such a beautiful melody. The song was written in German, so we thought we'd honour that by singing one of the verses in German. Alice lived in Germany for a while, so she's fluent in the language, and she's a good teacher. Nur das Traute. Nur das Traute. Perfect. met everyone, having a Bill, Dan, again, just say the names again, Dan, Ash, Cam, <laughs> all, all one syllable names, yeah, easy, Bill, Paul. There's a great old song, The Virgin Mary Had One Son, the, the Staple Singers did it, and I, I only had one voice in mind for that, that was Emma Donovan. The Virgin Mary had one son, oh Lord, she had People generally think of Christmas as solely a, a Christian celebration, but it does have links to the other two great One God religions, Judaism and Islam. Jesus was Jewish and he, he taught from Jewish scripture and uh, the Quran, Islam's holy book, has a whole chapter devoted to Mary and Jesus. It's called Surah Maria. So, I invited Leo to come in and sing a Hebrew song, Shalom Aleichem, which speaks of peace and kings and angels. Sounds like Christmas to me. Then I asked Walid Ali to come and recite some verses from the Surah Maryam, uh, beautiful poetry about the, the birth of Jesus. They were both a, uh, a bit puzzled to be asked to take part in a Christmas album, but uh, they were really good sports and uh, it made perfect sense to me. I asked Marlon Williams if he was interested in singing Oh Holy Night and he said it was his favourite Christmas song. He couldn't come to Melbourne because of lockdown so he recorded it in Auckland. He sang it in Maori so it's called Tapu Tapo. He suggested we had a children's choir so Jess Hitchcock organised the Dungala children's choir to come into the studio in Melbourne and she and Alice Keith ran the session. Little Drummer Boy is always one of the perennials in our family Christmas carols. We always do that one. Everyone loves it. It's got its sort of uh, interesting time signature and 
different bar length. So there's always a, a lot of discussion about, you know, coming in at the right time. Little baby ba rum ba bum bum Okay. 